Hello. In this video, we're going to focus on some of our work that we're going to be doing on Khan Academy. A bunch of you have used Khan Academy throughout the year already. Today, any student that we have who is in math class who's not taking the NAEP assessments, and we'll talk more about the NAEP assessments in class, but if you're with us in math class not taking those, we're going to ask that you're working on Khan Academy work. You're going to have six assignments for that Khan Academy work today, four questions or four equations to be working with on each of those assignments, um, and it's just pretty much review or practice work on the stuff that we've been doing for the last couple weeks on solving equations and also determining the number of solutions to equations. Um, if you do get through a bunch of Khan Academy work today too, we are okay with you doing some 10 marks work. We'll talk about that later. But the big focus of this video, how do we log on to Khan Academy? How do we see what work is due? And most importantly, how do we start to see for the Khan Academy work? What are some of the best tools to help us there? So first off, to get to Khan Academy, what you need to do, open a new tab and you're going to go to khanacademy.org. Hopefully that auto-fills for you. If not, you can just type in Khan Academy to your Google search and it should start to auto-fill most days for you. You might even want to consider putting a bookmark for Khan Academy. You could do that if you see the star right up here. Click that star, it would make a Khan Academy bookmark for you. And then you'd go ahead, go ahead and be able to put Khan Academy anywhere in your bookmarks that you want. Make it easy to get to each day. To log in, you just click the login button up here at the top right. So if you follow my mouse or if you look up here at the top right, you click this login button up here. And then as we start to log in, you all will click continue with Google and sign in with your Boston K-12 account. To show you a demo student, I've created a demo student with my Gmail account. Wrong button. Me one second. So, one more time, sign in incorrectly. Sorry about that. So, this is what your Khan Academy account should look like today. Every time you log into your home screen, any work from me that is due in the next seven days, if it's due in the next seven days, you're going to see it here on your home screen. So here we see the six assignments that I had talked about today listed throughout here. If it's not due in the next seven days, do further away than that because sometimes you'll have a bunch of work. It'll be listed here under assignments. When you click into assignments, you'll be able to see any upcoming assignment that's due and you can also click into the past assignments, see work that you've done before. A few things we want to talk about here. Number one, on Khan Academy, if you have a low score, a score under 75% on any of these assignments, they're going to give you this option to try again. We strongly encourage you anytime the assignments are 50% or lower, we definitely should be using the try again feature. This is basically like the do-over on 10 marks, but with the advantage of not needing to go through an amplifier, which I know a bunch of you don't enjoy. So take advantage of the try again feature I'm going to show you here. My demo student scored 50% on that first assignment, equations with variables on both sides. So if we click that try again link, as we said, it skips right through what used to be the amplifiers on 10 marks and it gets you some of the do-over problems again, similar problems to what he had worked on before. And the most important thing I'm pointing out here, if we're stuck, I do encourage you, the Khan Academy videos I think are more helpful than the 10 marks videos please do feel free to click this watch a video or use a hint option down here. The hints, again, very much like 10 marks. They're quick, probably even more helpful on 10 marks. You can use that here. But again, pay attention if you're going to start using the hints. It's a great way to start learning, but it's not going to count towards your progress. So you're going to try to your best to work it out first before you use these hints or Khan Academy kind of knows you didn't get that problem on your own. The videos, however... They're not going to mark you off. If you watch one of these videos, which are directly related to how to solve a problem like this, you can watch those videos and still get full credit. So I would encourage you, if you're struggling on some problems on Khan Academy, whatever assignment it is all year, definitely watch the videos that are linked here um, because we're not going to be assigning mandatory videos or mandatory amplifiers on Khan Academy. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions about the Khan Academy work, please see me or Ms. Stewart. At the end of class today, we will certainly be using Kahoot um, to continue having some competition in terms of how do we solve these equations and determine the number of solutions.